Uh, Coach, thank you for joining us on the call today. Welcome back to UConn. Welcome to the American. Uh, if we could get your thoughts on spring practice and what you're looking to see as you take the field uh, Friday night. Uh, well, it's uh, good to be back here at, uh, at UConn, excited about it. And, uh, you know, our guys have uh, been working really hard uh, here in, in the off-season program and uh, also through 13 days of um, spring practice. And, uh, you know, again, I, the, the, you know, the goals for me is just to continue to try to, to get better and uh, finish installing and going through the things that we want to uh, get done from a base offense, base defense, and, and special teams uh, here on Thursday and then in the, the game that we have on Friday and then uh, make sure our guys are prepared to go and do the things that they're going to have to do on their own um, through the months of May, June, and July. Any questions for Coach Edsel, please? Star 1 on your telephone keypad to join the queue, then the operator will introduce you. We'll take our first question from Dan Totoro with WakeUpCallDT.com. Good morning, Coach. How are you? Good morning. How are you doing? Well, thanks for asking. Um, to take a look at coming back to Connecticut, just what you can say about now obviously being there and going through spring practice and having some time there, just what you can say about how it feels to be back in familiar territory. Um, you no, know, it's great to be back. I mean, uh, you know, you walk in and, you know, your office is the same and a lot of familiar people here and, you um, uh, you know, the facilities here uh, are outstanding. And, and again, it's just that uh, we know that uh, we got a lot of work to do um, to get this program back to where it was uh, six years ago. And, um, you know, the players are willing to, to do those things necessary in order to uh, uh, work to make that happen. And what you can say about kind of going off of that, this group of student athletes that you inherited walking in, just how they've responded to you and what you've seen from them through the spring. Um, I see a group that's very willing, uh, that wants to uh, that wants to work, that wants to do the things the the way that we want them uh, done. We're not where we need to be, um, but they have that uh, want to and and they have the willingness to to do those things. And if we can continue to do that and then get bigger and stronger and faster here over these next three months, and, uh, and we add new guys to uh, our team in the, uh, for the fall, then, um, you know, we'll have a chance to, uh, to be competitive. Thanks, Coach. I appreciate it. Uh-huh. And next, we move to Bill Bender with Sporting News. Hey, Coach. Good afternoon. Uh, good hey. morning still, I think. Yeah, good morning. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but uh, I'm so used to saying that. But, uh, you know, as you step into this conference, obviously there was a uh, – you know, several new coaches hired in. You know, what excites you about, you know, competing against this group of coaches in the American Athletic Conference? Well, I think it's a, I think it's a very good conference, and I think there's outstanding coaches, uh, you know, in this conference. You know, I haven't had a chance to, to watch anybody on film. I've just been focused on our team and uh, trying to get them the best they can be. But, I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, competing against uh, everybody, and we know it's um, going to be uh, – Tremendous challenge week in and week out, and um, again, it's just uh, right now. I'm just really trying to focus in on on our team and what we have to do to get better um, as we get into the season uh, in September. Thanks, Coach. And next, we we'll move to Shannon Green with Orlando Sentinel. Good morning, Coach Essel. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. Welcome to the conference. Thank you. Coach, um, I was writing a piece about the early signing period that seems to be becoming a reality now. Um, I want to speak your thoughts on what the pros and cons of this move uh, would be, in your opinion. I, I couldn't understand some of that. You're breaking up a little bit. If you could repeat that. Sorry about that. Yes, I was asking, what were your thoughts in terms of what the pros and maybe some of the cons would be to having an early signing period? Um, I think it's, I think the early signing period was something that was needed. Uh, I think there were a lot, there's a lot of flaws in the recruiting process uh, as we know it today. I think there were some things that were passed in this new legislation uh, that will be very helpful. Because um, now what you'll find out, you'll find out uh, if these offers are really real that are being offered by people. 
and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how many young men that have offers that want to commit and sign paperwork in December, that schools will allow them to do that, and how many will be told that you'll have to be wait, you'll have to wait until uh, February. So I think that was something that was needed um, to do. And then the people who are really truly committed, um, you know, you, that allows you as a, as, a, as a coaching staff and institution to get them signed. And the ones that say they were committed that don't want to sign until February, then you know that you're gonna, you need to probably go and move on because they're really not committed. Um, so I think, it, I think it's very good. I think it's uh, really good. I think this will slow down maybe some of the early offering that's going on uh, because, of, um, you know, people feel like they got to get into the game just because other people offered and they haven't watched them on these guys. So uh, I think it's all good. I think, uh, uh, I think it's something that was needed, and I still think they should probably slow the recruiting process down, but uh, I think this is a step in the right direction. Thanks, Coach. Uh-huh. And next we'll move. Please. Thank you. Next we'll move to Christopher Heidel with Herb FM Sports Radio, Baltimore. Hey, Coach Randy. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Doing great. Up. Uh, so I knew you were a year off from the college game. You were working with the Lions. What did you learn uh, working with the Detroit Lions last year? Uh, it was very good. You know, uh, Jim Caldwell uh, is an outstanding coach, outstanding person. Bob Quinn, general manager, um, put together a first-class uh, operation there and, you know, had the opportunity to work, um, you know, very, very closely with both of those men and and uh, being able to take a step back and um, look at things was, was very good and, and then had success in terms of making the playoffs and, you uh, but uh, the experience I had there was, um, you know, very good and just uh, furthered uh, having worked um, under Jim and, and Bob. It just furthered my beliefs in the, in the values and the things that I believe in as a coach and how to go about, um, you know, how to go about coaching and how to go about uh, running a program. And now you're at UConn. Uh, what, do you, what do you expect for Friday's uh, spring game? What do, you, what do you want to switch your expectations for that? I just I just want to see our guys go out and compete. You know, we're still in the evaluation phase here. You know, we're coming in, and, you know, that'll only be the 15th time we've seen the guys on on the field. And so, again, I, I'm just using that as another day to evaluate and, and form opinions of uh, what I think uh, some of these young men can do. And then, you know, uh, we'll continue that evaluation process come uh, come August. Well, good luck with the spring game, and I hope you have a wonderful summer, and I'll talk to you in September. Thank you. Appreciate it. Coach, thanks so much for the time today. As, uh, as uh, our last caller just said, uh, best of luck with the spring game Saturday. I look forward to catching up with you this summer.